Hello, welcome back to another Asphalt 9 video. Today I'm finally proud and just not proud but like happy because finally I can play in 60 FPS on my MacBook Pro and record it properly and upload it properly which is really awesome with the Lamborghini season update they finally fixed that controller input delay issue when you have 60 FPS enabled so now there's no issues regarding that there is one issue however on Mac which is screen recordings with audio don't actually record the Asphalt 9 audio which is really weird um, there's a couple workarounds to get internal audio recording on Macs uh, but for some reason Asphalt just ignores it which is really odd so hopefully I will find a workaround if you have any ideas or, or if you know a solution uh, for this please let me know in the comments section I would really appreciate that but for now unfortunately the only audio I will have is just me and then some music so I apologize for that so besides that this is obviously awesome because 60 FPS looks and plays so much better than 30 FPS. I do have a couple things to say though, um, but finally they added graphics options in addition to fixing that 60 FPS bug. Uh, so if you go into the graphics option on your MacBook or iMac or whatever, you can now adjust it, which is really awesome. So I'm on a MacBook Pro 16 inch with the Radeon 5500M graphics option. I have all maximum settings enabled in Asphalt 9 and then everything is turned on except motion blur because you and so far everything has been running really really well um i've had no you know major stutters or crashes or anything like that i do notice however if you turn up the resolution scale then sometimes it'll lag a bit in some intense graphic areas you know such as a bunch of smoke or a bunch of particles flying around but besides that and if your resolution scale is at just about 100 percent you will be fine and uh, it looks really well and there's not a lot of stutters which is really really awesome another thing i wanted to mention is in regards to my display so the macbook pro display is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio so what that means is when i upload in 16 by 9 so like 1920 by 1080p uh, there will be black bars on the side so the footage you're seeing is stretched so I get rid of those black bars because I don't really think a lot of people want to watch videos with black bars on the sides um, so if the stretched resolution thing bothers you please let me know I'm trying to find a good solution to this problem but for now I just stretch it out so uh, I can get rid of those black bars and uh, just one last thing I wanted to mention, whenever I play on my MacBook, I'm going to be using a controller. Obviously, there's no tilt controls on a computer, um, and I'm just really not that good with the controller. I'm going to be, you know, practicing and trying to get used to it as much as I can. But for videos such as like the top 1% in event videos or really good esports runs and good laps and stuff like that, most likely that's going to be on my phone using tilt controls because I'm just much better on my phone. So unfortunately, those types of videos will be in 60 FPS. Yeah, so I apologize for that. Hopefully uh, later this year I'll get a new phone and then you know those types of videos will be in 60 FPS as well. But for now, try hard videos are going to be in 30 FPS, which is disappointing. But oh well, I'm just much better on tilt controls, which is unfortunate. And uh, yeah, we'll just have to deal with that, I guess. But for now, 60 FPS I will put on everything I can. So if I'm just using Asphalt 9 footage for like background footage or B-roll or something like that, I'm gonna try my best to use as much 60 FPS content as possible because frankly, it looks better. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys later.